Here I'm going to explain how fiscal policy works. This is a type of demand side policy that is put in place by the government to impact the aggregate demand in the economy. If it's expansionary fiscal policy, it causes aggregate demand to go up. It helps the economy to expand. And if it's contractionary fiscal policy, it causes aggregate demand to decrease. And that causes the economy to be sort of kept under more control and to bring down aggregate demand. We'll look in a second at the two diagrams. Fiscal policy is to do with government spending and taxation. And either this or this or both of them can be changed so that you can impact aggregate demand. So an example would be if the government were to increase government spending. If they chose to do that, this is discretionary government spending, but you only learn about that next year, so don't worry at the moment. But if they chose to increase government spending, so for example, if they spent money on schools and the NHS and roads, any of those things where the government is spending, this causes aggregate demand to go up because, remember, aggregate demand is consumption plus investment plus government spending plus X exports minus imports, net exports. So therefore, if you increase government spending, ceteris paribus, your aggregate demand will go up as well. And if they're increasing government spending, that's expansionary fiscal policy, which is shown here. And you can see that, as I say, ceteris paribus, aggregate demand goes up. So AD shifts to the right here, and we find that output goes up, so the economy does expand. And also in my diagram, because our spare capacity is starting to run out, the price level also increases from P to P1. An alternative, if the economy, say we were seeing too much inflation, they might decide to decrease government spending. And if they decrease government spending, they might decide to spend less on certain things. So, for example, parks or schools or something like that. They reduce their spending. And again, ceteris paribus, were government spending to come down, then that would cause AD to also come down. And that would be a form of contractionary fiscal policy, which is down here, where aggregate demand comes down. You can see that maybe we're getting to the point where we don't have very much spare capacity left in the economy. So we're seeing demand pull inflation. So what they do to try and rein that in is they decrease aggregate demand. And aggregate demand shifts from AD to AD1. And as you can see, the real output falls from Y to Y1. And also 